Hello dear friends on the other side of the screens. Today is the first protest ride for Radio Freeze. Today is the day. Today is the 3rd November first ride for Radio Freeze. I don't know if anybody do this, but I put a hashtag Radio Freeze ride, I think. Is it going to make a difference? I don't know what it does, but uh, hey, the, so be it. Um, so we are waiting for the troops to come from Masterton. They're going to collect people, Masterton, Carterton, Great Town, all the way up. Then uh, in a few minutes, well, 10.30 is a meetup point for here. I'm uh, about half an hour early. Um, and uh, we will be heading over the hill there. There is a lot of black clouds what keeps coming over this side and rains on us. But um, hopefully it will give us a half an hour so we don't really have to... Uh, uh, get all dressed up fully in the rain gear well i don't even take any uh, i'm taking my uh 72 xlch uh maybe it is my least uh reliable bike oh sorry lady you should not hear that but um hey you know that adds to that adventure we'll see there is a lots of people meeting us in uh upper hut and in a hut valley and uh all along lower hut and all the way to wellington there is another bunch of people coming from the other side, from Capiti Coast. Um, they're coming the other side, the other state highway by the sea. And every major city around New Zealand is doing the same. Uh, just gathering motorcyclists and going to the cities to show our discomfort and anger and disillusion and I don't know, whatever you want to call it, about proposed plans. Everybody feels that this is a... A little attack on motorcycle life and um, yeah we are not happy I am aware as the guys in the comments wrote in my last video uh, that uh, there was a massive protest like this in a few many years ago where a bunch of bikers went to the city and uh, didn't achieve anything so um, hey I am aware that nothing will change but it's a uh, even if there is a tiny little change we gotta take it don't we so uh, what else is there to do? It's Sunday, let's go riding. That's what we love doing. So let's just keep at it. I just wanted to say that uh, my last video, well, I posted it only Friday. Overnight, overnight had over, well, in 24 hours had almost 10,000 views and 140 comments or something. So just wanted to thank you guys for, um, for watching it, for saying your opinions. Um, it's really appreciated and uh, the, the guys had a really good points. I might talk about it in the, what is it called, the overlay, you know, I might talk about it later, later so I'm not wasting time just standing on the sidewalk yapping about it. But um, yeah, thanks, I just wanted to say thank you, you guys are awesome. And uh, we have a common goal, don't we? So uh, it doesn't matter who did this, whether it is one side, whether it's blue, blue, yellow, green, fucking whatever. I don't, I don't really think that uh, it would really be different if different party was in, uh, in power and with the same shit all over. So, um, hey, we are here. We're waiting for the guys and let's ride to the city for the good cause. Keep our motorcycle lifestyle alive. All right. I Yep, I was waiting on a wrong place, so uh, the bikes from Masterton just arrived. So we have about 50 bikes.
and the weather cleared up. All the big clouds disappeared, as you can see. So it uh, should be fine. It's pretty freezing. It's very cold. Wind coming, but it'll be fine. All right. See ya. So this ride had been organized by uh, MAG New Zealand or MAG New Zealand uh, Motorcycle Advocacy Group. Um, these guys um, created the website and their organization organized this ride in every major city of New Zealand going from Auckland, uh, Hamilton, Wellington, Dunedin, Christchurch, Invercargill I think every major city had all the bikers coming up to the town for a ride i took it as a um, pleasant sunday outing main thing was to get us all together put us on the same page uh, so people who are involved um, can go ahead and talk to the government so that we all of us have one representative some people would prefer this to be more rowdy and going to do burnouts at the parliament grounds but um, those things will just uh, put us in trouble and get totally discredited so um, we just have to take it a bit easier um, and play it you know with the um, white gloves on our hands so um, hopefully this will um, open up a forum to a discussion and um, the representatives what need to be approached will be approached and we can open up a dialogue. I think from Wairarapa was about 50 bikes, then uh, as, lo as far as we go we pick up more bikes and um, I think Wellington had good 200 bikes, maybe more, 250. Um, there were some speakers which you guys will hear, um, I think they, get a, they had a valid point. And, um, Lots of people will uh, talk about different points, but I think at this point we just have to focus on one uh, solid thing, which is the um, registration increase. Once we have a dialogue open and we can move ahead, then we can start talking about the other issues. Um, but yeah, so um, this is just the start, hopefully, and um, the people who are in charge or uh, put themselves in charge Well, we don't mind that um, we can, They can gain some footing and um, well, we are there to support it Another stop, yet more motorcycles. Let's do it. So on a lighter theme, we don't have to be so serious all the time, do we? I thought I'm going to say a joke to lighten the day up. Mm, here it is. I have never seen an iron head leak oil. 
Well, that's all I got. <laughs> I don't know any other jokes. Um, is this a joke? I just made it up, so deal with it. Anyhow, you may be asking what motorcycle I'm riding at the moment. Um, so this uh, Red Little Beast is a 1972 XLCH Sportster. Um, um, it's Kickstarter only. Um, supposedly, I don't know, it's always a um, mysterious thing whether XLCH means competition hot or not. But um, this motorbike has very square cams rather than uh, nice um, teardrops. So um, she runs way fast. She always takes petrol way too quick out of the tank and I um, have always problem with uh, vacuum in the tank. So uh, yeah, she's a solid beast. That's how I move on, that's how I stay strong. A new day's on, I'll keep moving right along. Well, we're picking up more people as we go. We have probably 100 bikes here, maybe more. Uh, I'm not gonna count them. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good turn now so far. We'll see how many is in the city waiting for us. So, uh, yeah, and the weather smarted up. It was raining on a hill, but uh, it's pretty good. When I bought the bike, she was in a pretty big disrepair. She just ran. There were no lights, no indicators. Half of the electric cables were hanging out, uh, untidy, uh, carburetor wasn't working, um, she was barely puffing around, but I probably kicked her about 150 times to get her going to hear her run. But yeah, um, rebuilt everything, uh, did my own paint job, done all the electrics, um, rechecked, retimed all the engine. Uh, fixed the electronic timing and yeah, did a complete overhaul of the whole bike. We have arrived uh, at the um, memorial where all the bikes are. Uh, it's got a few. There is a bunch of more bikes coming. I'll see if I can organize uh, uh, putting a microphone on uh, people who uh, speak and record that with a uh, better sound rather than just through a camera. So. Um, uh, yeah, I shall try that. Uh, there might be a case that I will record it and the sound won't work, so uh, who knows, but uh, we shall give it a try. All right, so uh, let's um, wait along, see uh, who's gonna speak and where and what's happening, and then uh, uh, let's uh, get this red or freeze frozen or all over even. Mm, wouldn't that be a novel idea? It's probably about, um, I'd say, maybe good 200, 300 motorcycles at the moment. More still coming. So, um, yeah, I'll see. We all get to the speeches. We are being watched. It's Ian, I'm from Palmy. I was just rounding up a few people to come down here. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing the turnout. Um, some people do know why you're here and some people have just joined on a ride. If you, if you don't know why, 
Um, I've got the schedule of increases here. I've handed a few out already. Um, yeah, hopefully this is going to happen again about a K that way during the middle of the week. Um, but thanks all for yeah. coming and um, yeah, head home safely. Flick pass. <laughs> awesome, guys. So, look, those of you that don't know what's going on, anything over 750cc, they want to push our regions up from 522 to 877. All right? Yep. They're going to do that over three years. Nice of them, eh? Spread it out. The other thing is they haven't told us is that you could put in a submission, but that finished on the 9th of, uh, 9th of October. Okay, have, put your hand up if you actually knew anything about these increases before, before the last couple of weeks. Probably 15 maybe, okay? Everybody that I've spoken to with this today, about this today, knew nothing about the increases coming up. So that's bad enough on its own, let alone how they measure what injuries there are on motorcycles. I've spoken to a lot of people they go to the hospital, they fill out their ACC form, what happened? I crashed my motorbike, motorbike accident. Doesn't matter, some clown ran me off the road. Talking to a guy last week, he took his bike in for repairs, had some work done on the front wheel, when he was riding home the friggin' wheel fell off, he got injured, motorbike accident. Okay, so this is what they're, they're measuring us on. We want to find out whether they're going to measure us on quad bike accidents on farms, on dirt bike accidents on unregistered bikes. How many of you have seen bikes racing around up north or whatever, these, these bloody road off road bikes? No helmets, no rear jays, no nothing. We're paying for that, guys. So I've got no problem with paying, user pays with what I'm doing, but I want accountability for what they're measuring us on, okay? So this today is all about, we've obviously got a hell of a lot of interest from you guys, because I can't see anybody here that is going to be happy about doing what they want us to do. But we need to work out what we're going to do from here on, how we're going to keep this moving. One of the easiest ways I can see it keep moving is who's been onto the MAGNZ site. You've seen all of that, just go on Google MAGNZ, which is the Motorcycle Advocacy Group New Zealand. Go on that. There's so many links to the other area. So this is just one ride of 12 today. There's 11 others going on around New Zealand doing exactly the same thing. We need to keep the momentum going. I was talking to a lady here before who's from the trade unions. Oh, there she is with the shirt. She's one of the sort of ladies we want behind us because she knows the sort of shit that people try and put on to us. And if you're anything like me, you get past about four lines, and if the wife's not there to read it and explain it to me, I'll just go, freak, this is too hard, I'll accept and go back out to the garage. <laughs> We've got to push back, guys, and there's no point taking the emotional thing and go, well, stick it up your backside, I'm just going to not ride my bike, or I'm going to not register it. Work on the facts and push back at these guys. Talk to your local MPs in your areas. We've got two in our area in the wire apple. One, one will listen, the other one wouldn't know what friggin' day it was. But we've got to talk to these clowns and just say, look, this is where we're coming from. But we need to talk to these guys and just go back, push back. We've had talks about people who own multiple bikes. Talk about the opportunity or the possibility of maybe registering the owners rather than the bikes. Is that a possibility? Now, how can we do that? It's like, was, there's a, there, uh, on, on the site that we're talking about, there's a guy who's got 10 bikes and he registers them all. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Lucky man. So, seriously, look at the options of what you'd like to see happen and work out how we can make that happen. And as Badger was saying, we're going to hopefully, next time we, we, we gather, it'll be in mass and it'll be down at Parliament. Got a lady over here who's got a key. Well, she hasn't got a key. She... <laughs> so we've got to be listened to. It's, it's, it's just not fair. It's not right. And we want to be able to push back. So anybody that's got any ideas, what they'd like to see happen, how they think they can make this happen, go on to that M uh, sorry, MAGNZ site and post it on there and we'll gather the everything together and make it happen. But we've just got to keep it moving, otherwise they're just going to steamroll us on it. I mean, I understand from about 2019 they wanted to push it up to around a thousand bucks. Does that sound right? 
level for insurance uh, registration. They finally dropped it down to five for 500 and whatever it was, and everyone's going, oh, this is awesome, great guys. They only wanted 300 and something. So don't accept what it is they're wanting to push on us. Push us back, but we've got to be able to do it in a way that we can make it happen and we can keep it happening. So I guess at the end of all of this today, we just want to keep this moving. Talk to your mates. Talk to everyone else around that doesn't know what's going on. Just make them aware of what's going on and make sure that what we're going to get charged for, what we're going to have to pay is actually what we are involved in, not somebody else. So there's all sorts of stuff out there that we, um, I'm sure we are paying for and being penalised for and we've got nothing to do with it. So awesome turnout. Um, that's pretty much it. We're just going to work out how we're going to keep this moving from here. So get back, get onto that site, post whatever it is you want to post on there, come up with your ideas, talk about the other groups you've come from. We've got people from the company here, we've got some money with two, the, uh, um, sorry, Wairarapa, all around the Hutt Valley. We've got uh, riders here I see from up Hawke's Bay way. So everybody's annoyed and everybody wants to do something about it, so we just need to keep it moving. moving from here is make something official when we go to parliament actually the lady i was talking to over here said one of the groups that she belongs to they were notified whether it be through email or whatever but there was nothing that i've ever seen or heard from anyone where people were notified through their registration or through anything to do like that and so if you weren't at the right place at the right time you knew nothing about this you knew, you didn't know that they were going to be doing it and then as I say, if you wanted to just put in a submission about it, it was closed off on the 9th of October. So I've started pushing this and being involved with this for the last couple of weeks, three weeks maybe, which was outside of the 9th of October anyway. So Matt Ducey, who's the ACC Minister and also the Assistant Transport Minister, I think, who can't see over the handlebars of a bike anyway, yet he's telling us what we're going to be paying. So no, we don't know. Um, there's been supposedly there's been an OIA put in um, with the ACC to how this was brought about and what they measure us on. Um, we're waiting for that to come back. But anybody can do that. Anybody can put in an Official Information Act request for information like that. Are we measured how, how many accidents, how many bike accidents have there been because of the conditions of our roads? How many accidents have we been involved in where it's been from a, a, another vehicle, maybe a, a, a car or a truck or whatever, running us off the road or us taking a vase of action, them disappearing. ACC are talking about single vehicle accidents now and how we're going to be measured higher and penalised higher if we're a single vehicle accident. But if that was caused by somebody else that's left the scene, we're still a single vehicle accident. So we need to understand how that's going to be worked. There's just so much, and I'm sure that most of you will go home after this on the way home and go, Oh, what about that? And what about that? One, one thing you can do, even if you've missed, so there was a petition that you could have signed, some people are sort of a little bit late to the party, but you, you, you're here, which is the good thing. Um, and the submissions on the ACC website, have, as Mark said, have shut. But go on, on Facebook to MAGNZ and voice your displeasure because the Minister of ACC knows that this was happening and he'll have his, <coughs> his, his lackeys and whatnot having a look at social media to see what's going on to see what they can do to quieten us down. But me personally, I look at that and go, right, you want to charge me $877, what am I getting for that? And why am I having to pay that much when I can go and drive my car and pay 200 and do more damage than I'm ever going to do? And that's, and that's the sort of thing we need from people like yourself that can actually lay all that down and go, please explain. Because that's that's invaluable from what you've just said there who's getting who's getting injured and who's getting charged so we need to work out why is that happening why is that be, why is that allowed i also am, i'm involved in, in in youth licensing we work with the with the uh youth services and the police and and and, and refugees and whatever coming into the country i've had so many parents of the kids that we're working with to get license coming oh, i didn't know i didn't know that was the rule i didn't know i had to give away there dude are you serious Talking to people around here today, everybody here has been watching out. I mean, I personally want to go out on my bike, everybody's trying to get me, okay? So I'm watching everybody. I'm not worried about 
changing the station on the radio or friggin' texting on my phone or picking up my pie because I've just dropped it, whatever, we're concentrating. But as you say, they're not getting penalised for this, we are. So the more we can put that together and go, well, how's this happening? Why, is, why are we the ones getting targeted? Push it back onto the ones that should be getting bloody charged. Lady just asked, are we paying for all the road awareness signs about motorcyclists? Are we paying that? Is that part of our? Yes. It is? Okay. It comes out of the ACC fees. It's a $30, $30 levy. Well, they're going to be flash signs now, eh? <laughs> 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 All right. Hello, my name is John. I'm an alcoholic. Sorry. Uh, I am. <laughs> Different group. I am the Vice President of Bronze Wellington. Not that that counts for shit. Uh, Bronze has been aware of this initiative by the government for a while. We have tried to mobilise submissions before the 9th, and a fuckload of you did respond. Thank you very much. We did bombard the Minister's email box with submissions. We are into a third or fourth round of OIA requests for information that you've been asking about. Uh, and unfortunately, the statistics aren't in our favour. 70% of motorcycle deaths are solo rider incidents. Unfortunately, we like to chalk ourselves quite regularly. We are getting better at not doing that, and that's because of the Ride Forever initiative. So all of you who have been and gone and done a bronze or a silver or a gold course, well done, thank you. You are bringing the statistics down. The statistics are in our favour that with training, people get better. That is important. And as has been pointed out, why aren't they doing the same thing for car drivers? because that's where a lot of this stuff comes from. Uh, I personally would like to see them do the same as the states. Start teaching kids in school how to drive. Use the education budget to teach them how to be better drivers. I'd like to see the Finland initiative, where everyone has to have a motorcycle licence before they can get a car licence. Then they're aware of motorcycles. That's a good thing. So we need to stir them up. This is a start. This is a warning shot. I'm proud of you guys for organising this for today and we can keep this momentum going. As you say, this is what we need to do. We need to let them know, like the bike we last time, that this is unacceptable. We are not an easy target. All right? So, please keep aware, keep on the websites, keep on the Facebooks, Bronze has pages on the on Facebook as well, so Bronze New Zealand, Bikers Rights Organisation in New Zealand, uh, and we post up regularly about this sort of stuff as well. There are question and answers going backwards and forwards between the Roundhouse and us, so we need to stay on it. But yes, I feel that there is a bike boy in our future again. Bike boy Mark to coming up to let them know that they can't just steamroll us. It comes down to one thing, you can only crash one motorbike at one You can only ride one at a time, you can only crash one at a time, exactly, yes. So so we have been talking to them about that, we have started that process. Unfortunately those wheels grind very, very slowly, we have to get it in, we have to get it past the minister, it has to go to select meetings, oh, da, 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 da. and we've been trying, we've been trying, been trying. So it is one of those things, we are trying. And I think the, the two options just gathered today would be the good one would be the, the MAG and Z site because that's what most of us have been on for a start. But also bronze, get onto their sites because I'm just going to ask you, John, is those OIA's requests that have been done, is there a, 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 an update on those on your website? It's been as put it, on Facebook. Yep, yeah, sweet. We so if we, if we go onto the bronze site, then we can also see there what's happening and then at the end of it we could have that voice and decide right we want bronze to talk on their behalf or somebody from MAGNZ. The, the benefit that I've got is I've actually got a wife that understands all that shit, yep. who deals with ministers. Um, I've just volunteered you there wherever you are. <laughs> well done, take you out for lunch after this. But I've, I've got no um, no qualms that it's not necessarily a just friggin knock on the door protest, it's a yeah. Just explain to us, guys, yeah, well, is why why is it you want to put our right? up to this, you know? So there's all of those things that affect us. You know, they're talking about this whole crap about riding in convoy. How many hundreds of thousands have we raised as riders on friggin' charity rides to give back to the communities? To you know, it's 
it's just that whole, yeah, look, that's just one of, of many things that we're going to have to look at. What about if they decide not to listen to us and they think, well, these guys are just a soft touch. Right, so then you, the next step is what's proposed. You hit them where it hurts, in the wallet, by putting your bike on hold. Can you imagine that of the motorcycling public, if they stop, if they put all their bikes on hold, they drop of income... Yeah. To where the national administrators of the advocacy group can have a look at what you're all saying and put that in an arsenal to take to yeah. those clowns. 100%. So yeah. we can sit here and discuss and debate all day long, um, probably into uh, into the, the new week. Um, and then we go straight to Parliament. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, yeah, it's more but we need, yeah, as we say, yeah. we need... We but need, get, get we need to Facebook, have a defined plan. Get on that Facebook yep. page and put your thoughts and, and whatnot down there. So please, when you're heading out of here, just ride safely, stay upright, stay safe. And obey the road rules. And obey the road rules. rules. The cameras yep. are all over us today on the road. So just Thank you guys and girls. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Well, we fucking <laughs> yeah. had an illegal convoy through right. the terrorist tunnel. Alrighty, so there were the guys speaking up about things and... Uh, as they say, there is a M-A-G-N-Z uh, in the website of Facebook and there is a bronze B-R-O-N-Z uh, either Facebook or website, look it up. Those both groups will be doing uh, stuff, uh, putting, uh, putting together some submissions and things for the government to, uh, to look at and uh, hopefully together, if we all together, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get something done. And. Um, most likely we won't be listened to, as people pointed out. But then there is a we have a choice of put all our motorcycles on hold and they lose the money. So uh, I kind of feel that if you talk about money, they'll uh, they ought to listen at some point. So uh, yeah, that's very weird. Everybody's leaving. I'm gonna pick my bike up, have a little loop break, and uh, and head out. So I'll see you back on the road. And we stopped. Who knows why? I'm on uh, my side of the Rimutakas by the bridge. And she's not going anymore. And I thought I ran out of petrol, but it's not the case. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, the funny thing is I bought fish for dinner. And I have about five kilometers to push the bike home. Uh, I tried to start her up, but she's not going. Um, so, um, yeah, let's push her home.
the right, I'm in the youth now. The bike is parked. Going to pick it up. Well, what a ride. I was having a bit of a fun on the hill. I was laughing, I'm not laughing, but smiling. I was a bit of a fun. And then she just died and I, um, it looks like I lost all the power. Uh, there seemed to be no electricity in um, in my electrical unit. I don't know why. Um, so, um, we'll have to investigate. I will have to wait for some kind of motorcyclists to help me load the bike on a ute, I think. And I also need to undress because I'm already boiling in the ute. Uh, because it was pretty icy out there. So, uh, yeah. What a day. What a ride. What a finish. I'm quite lucky that um, Mr. Paul from Masterton uh, brought me over. Uh, he was a... Uh, <laughs> He stopped for a piss, then I came out of the bushes and he says, you're right? I say, oh, I am, but Mike isn't. And he says, oh, I'll take you home then. I said, okay. So I, he took me home. Man, that was the first time I saw it, I sat on a bike as a passenger. Oh, it's spooky. Man, I, it was an uh, uh, unusual experience. I. Uh, I don't know if I'm a fan of uh, being brilliant, to be honest, after almost 15 years. Oh, uh, look, there she is. There she is parked. Hello, baby. I am here. Okay. Let's get her on. We waited not very much, just 15 minutes, and uh, another person from the ride in town, uh, Brendan, on the Triumph T90 or T100, uh, helped me to push the bike up. I tried doing it myself, but uh, no bueno. Um, so it's a bit of a lazy, lazy job trusting the bike up. But I'm only going about 5k, so. Uh, I'm gonna take it easy and uh, yeah, who knows what's up with the bike. Um, man, can I do a single ride without um, not breaking it up? I don't know. Okay, time to go home. Alrighty. So uh, we are back in the garage, um, she's parked, I'll have to do investigations, what's happening, there is a, um, I don't know, uh, whether it's mechanical or electrical, we'll have to find out. Um, I, uh, yesterday night I welded this side of the CC bar. And I'm going to make some kind of cool little things on the inside and maybe cross brace through here so it gives me a bit more support for the future riding. Um, well, this was the protest ride, uh, Red Joe Freeze ride. Um, hopefully, it's a start of something better and bigger, something what um, stops the government just kind of pissing all over us. Excuse my language. Um, 
Well, we shall see if something comes of it. If uh, we can actually get together and organize ourselves as a group which could be represented, yeah, which could be represented by one or two individuals and um, and that would be the main speakers for us, for the government to uh, make some kind of uh, sense out of all of this. And uh, as you say, if uh, worse comes to worse, hopefully we can muscle up enough people as a group to uh, not pay uh, registration, put our bikes on hold and starve them of the cash flow. You know, they can feel it with, uh, no, where it hurts most, the money. So anyhow, my, uh, my protest ride finished with a little bit of a melodramatic ending, but at least I was only five kilometers um, away from home and uh, there was plenty of bikers on the road to help me out. Thank you, Brendan, again for uh, helping me push the bike on a ute. Anyhow, this is what it is. This is what's happening in New Zealand and this is what we're doing about it. There was plenty of bikers out there who either don't know about this or they don't care, which is kind of annoying um, because I thought all of us could pitch in, but hopefully we can come together. Or, you know, that's why these videos are actually quite good because I met two people or three people today who came only because they saw my video. Uh, they had no idea what's going on. So uh, hey, if I can help a little bit to uh, share the awareness of uh, our motorcycle troubles, then um, then I'll do that. Um, okay, so you know, do your thing, press the buttons, uh, say good day, and um, you know, you feel free to write in the comments what you think about the whole debacle with the regos and ACC, and um, hopefully my um, uh, the speakers are recorded and they you already heard them, so um, yeah, I'll I'll just see you in the next one and. Uh, I'll keep you posted with everything I know. I know Mark, who was uh, the main speaker quite well, so I'll keep you posted in uh, what's happening and where we're at with the whole thing. So again, thank you for watching. You guys who came for the ride, thank you for coming in and making the effort. And uh, I shall see you in the next one. Keep the shiny side up and uh, be good.